So I watched um, Louis' video on how to do the image editing, and it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. The, uh, the only difficulty I had with it was that uh, I don't have Photoshop. So I went through his video and I, uh, I used GIMP. And thankfully, you can do everything he does in GIMP. So I'm just going to go through that little portion of his video and, uh, and share how to do those bits in, um, in GIMP. So here's the starting point. Here's the image. Use the select tool and we draw our box around our image. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to paste that as a new image. Okay, um, he gets you to duplicate it twice. So I'm going to duplicate that layer twice. And in the top one, he you have to invert. So you go to colors and invert. Um, we then look at applying a um, I can do the filter, um, blend, sorry. So we go vivid light, gives you that. And we change the filter, the blur, to be a, a Gaussian blur. And he drops it to about three. So I'm just going to scale that down to about three. I think that's going to be close enough. That's OK on there. And then this is where it's slightly different. We have to create a layer group. So that's this one here. And then we move the two layers he's done, what we've done, into our layer group. We now need to, again, change our blend to be overlay gives us our much nicer image and that's it it was the extra bit that he did which was the um, adding the white thing which I uh, white layer which I liked and it make does make a difference so I'm going to create a new layer going to make that layer white press OK I'm going to put a layer at the top and then all I'm going to do is exactly what he did is just reduce the transparency and he has it around about uh, 20 I think in um, in GIMP it's, it's going to be slightly different so I'm going to go something like just to so there's the original image and then I'm just going to light up a little there we go so that's it. That's doing Louis's um, work, but using GIMP rather than Photoshop. For GIMP, file, export as, find your JPEG file type, and whack it out as a JPEG. There you go. Hope that's useful. Um, follow the link for, for Louis's video. It is brilliant, and it got me um, going really well with 3D engraving. Thank you, Louie.